In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Everybody, my name is Joel. I'm marooned up here in outer space. Uh, I'm all alone except for the companionship with my two robot friends that I are of my own design. There are two evil overlord scientists that are uh, sending me horrendous films, but I can handle it because I'm a human. Two, three. Hey there, you people in front of your TVs, sitting along that line. I'll be back from the commercial. In a few minutes' time. Commercial sign in five, four, three, two. Commercial sign now. Ain't that a human? H U M A N. A human. 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 Cheese it, you guys. Get rid of the harps. It's the overlords. Hey, my Muddy Waters wannabe. Hey, sirs, how's everything on Earth? How would we know? We've been subterranean for 93 days. We're as abstracted from reality as you are. Maybe more. Gee, don't say hi. Well, is it time for the invention exchange? Is it time for the invention exchange? Yes! Show us what you've got, pink boy. Well, you know how it is on Earth when, um, you know, they have those giant enclosed stadiums and you can't smoke in it. And I always thought it was kind of peculiar because you can drive giant hell-belching monster trucks, but you can't smoke, right? Yeah. 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 Right. Well, so I invented this thing. It's a thing for smokers and it's a monster truck. I call it the uh, nitro-burning funny pipe, okay? And I just start it up here, okay? And then I... Uh, Light a match here. Ow! Yeah. Sunday, 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 we'll see Joel's lungs turn into a giant tar pit. Wow, that's real gear crushing, tire popping tobacco satisfaction. Oh, yes, uh, very nice, although we don't smoke. Well, here's ours, Jolie Ace. As you know, face masks throughout history left the bank robber, or thug, completely expressionless. Well, we've taken care of that. Larry? We've invented the stocking mask of the future with articulated eyebrows. <laughs> yes, no longer will a desperate criminal go misunderstood. The SM of F takes care of that completely. Uh, the demo, Larry? All right, put $10,000 in the bag. Unmarked bills right now. Hey, ladies. Oh, oh, it works. Cool. All right. See, you touch that alarm button, I'm going to have to rip off your fingers, and you're going to have to reattach at the nearest hospital with laser surgery. It's really cool they do that. Larry. Put... I'm sorry. See, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that I use six bullets or only five. See, all the excitement? I don't know myself. <laughs> I saw it in a movie. It's really good. Cool. Clinton. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, uh, that's our experiment this week, Joel. Uh, now, the movie is a greasy little sci-fi number called Robot Holocaust. And it's in color. Yay! But it's edited for television. <laughs> Ooh. Fruits you must never enjoy, Jolene. But there's more. 
I know, Commando Cody, right? Exactly. Deal with it, smart boy. <laughs> Enjoy. How are we going? No, I was saying they use servos to move those eyebrows. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Here's a school, Joel. Thanks. Hey, is that his high school yearbook picture? I don't know. There's a bunch of rocks ahead that'll give us some shelter. He's heading for some rocks. We'll have to stop. They must read the script. I'll say we are. Pressure's down to nothing. I could fix this if I have time. And if I knew I how. Try to stop them with your grenades. Okay. Stop Which rock. one of us is talking? But I think I can blast you. Go. Right in the plywood. Now I'm just gonna drop my spleen on him. Sounded like a spleen. By this time, my lungs were aching for air. If the tanks are rocking, don't come a knocking. Huh? Oh, great, he's drunk again on rye whiskey. We're stuck, so is the other car. Let's go after him with our ray pistols. Whoa, he's got the Zackleys yes. big time. Did you stop them? For a little while, but I don't know for how long. You better Dad, I can't keep happened. covering for you at the office. Okay. Over here. Whoa. Taste my steel, Jughead. Yikes. That's not fair to play catch like that. Oh, for the love of Mike. Come in here and quit horsing around. Come on, Mom. Just one more grenade. Just one more. A little lead sandwich for you, Moon Geek. Shut off quick. Yeah, you don't get run on on the moon. Well, except for this movie, which runs on and on. True. Ted, we can't bring your puppet everywhere. She likes for, to travel, Cody. You can. I'll ditch this car. Right. Oh, where are you going to ditch a high gloss plywood moon vehicle? Besides, we don't call them ditches on the moon, we call them craters. Hmm. Meanwhile, Peaceful. back at the slag heap. Okay, we're ready. Right. Ready for what? Are you going to let me go before you leave? No, we're taking you with us. And you better go back to your quarters until we get started. Get going! Take off that stupid hat. Cody, don't wear your jetpack in the house. What if that thing went off? Safety belts fastened? They haven't been invented yet, though. Cool. Moon Man Flambe. Ron Howard pops the clutch and tells the moon to eat my dust. <laughs> hey, what happened? Hey. Huh? What film broke? Hey. Oh, boo. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 Oh.
I know it's Hey, you guys, I think I got it going. Cool. Yeah, it's working. Great. It really is in color, too. Look. Just in time. The last city still stood. The remaining home of what was left of the civilization of New Terra. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. The society had been all but destroyed by the robot rebellion of 33. Oh, my hip still hurts from that one. Cyborg blindsided me. Hey, look, it's Aaron Spelling's house. Boy, that place sure isn't up to code. On their masters by the it's building. Three Rivers Stadium. The ensuing chaos had led to a radiation spill far more deadly than any nuclear warfare. They barbecued in parks with strict fire codes. The world had been brought to its knees by the robot holocaust. By the title. Robert Culp's smarter brother. Nadine Hart of Rogers and Hart. Look at me, I'm a turtle. Is that you, Joel? No, that's the other Joel. There's two of us. Jennifer Deloria. She's a DeLorean. <laughs> Andrew, how are you? Fine, how are you? <laughs> Classic. Good one. Ba bing Angelica Jagger, she's playing the big lipped woman. Barry the man. <laughs> Hold there. Cynthia DePaula. Good school, great basketball team. Tim Kincaid, Reuben Kincaid's smarter brother. A parking ramp in Cincinnati. I think it looks more like a roller coaster, like Six Flags over Armageddon. Armageddon tired of this already. <laughs> hey, I, I bet those guys are fighting over the last corn dog in existence. What happened to his butt? Isn't there a salve for that? Mm. Ooh, uh, you got a little, uh, little yeah, something right on your mouth uh, there. Wipe yeah. that. Ick. Get up, get up. That's good. You gotta want it. I hate fights. They're so smoky and noisy. I'm editing this. Hmm. Uh, inspected by number 12. Hey, couldn't he get arrested for pulling that tag off? Uh, only if he was wearing a mattress. Ah. <laughs> Looks like the sad future of the WWF. Look at this robo pickpocket. Nice tag. The remaining citizens of New Terra are known as air slaves. As far as they know, the only other inhabitants of the planet who remain are the Love forces me. of the Love me. The evil being who controls the very atmosphere that sustains them. Because as we all know, to air is human. Stories of nomads who roam the wastelands beyond the outskirts of the city. Outlaws, loners, a legendary breed who have somehow acclimated to the poisonous air. Actors, lawyers, hot dog vendors. Oh, God, I, I need this, this job. job. Hey, am I my resume? Where's Bobby Heenan when you need him? I wonder what would happen if there was card chairs after the apocalypse. If you wish to be reactivated, you will tell me what takes place below. Below what? I will give you a five-second activation to respond. Please, Master, I am sorry for trying to Why the long you. face? I am at your service. You have 
three seconds. A contest master. They're ventriloquisting each other. Each month, the Dark One sends a transport to each work encampment in the city to pit the two strongest air slaves against one another. The Dark One? The ruler of all air slaves. Arsenio? Their labor fuels the power station. The station cleanses the atmosphere so that the workers can continue to fuel the power station. And you? I am but a poor Freebot master. Freebot! 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 my only source of revenue. I steal what I can from who I can in order to pay for the upkeep of my mechanical pots. Mechanical pot? Is that a drug reference? I don't think so. You know, this movie's no Rocky, you guys. What is the reason for these contests? The two most powerful air slaves must fight until one of them dies. Or until they capture the other's loincloth. To the power station for his reward. But it is said that the winner is actually destroyed. Destroyed? Yes, destroyed. Yes. Read my lips. In this way, or lip. the Dark One can keep the air slaves from developing leaders strong enough to lead a rebellion. The power station. Looks like they patched into a Metallica video, you guys. I think it's the maid. What, what, what a maid it is. Are. Something is wrong. I can sense it. Must be cold in that room. Is it the amphitheater? Yes, Dark One. What do you Did she say mean? stuffed one? I'm gonna die if they start dancing cheek to cheek all of a sudden. Do the dirty bump! Look at that, it looks like sneeze stalactites. I feel like I could get in the middle of this thing and take him, Joe. Those guys. No, here's our brother. He ain't heavy. Well, her corns are gone. Hey, it's Miles Davis. Well, it's good to have goals, little crab guy. We can get them. What are they saying? No winter? Uh, no dinner, I think. I don't think they want Edgar Winter to play. No or, acting. No Jonathan acting. Winter. Tehran, 1979. Nowhere, 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 nowhere. Peas and carrots. Peas and carrots. No liver? <laughs> Valeria. Yes, stock one. You know what? what did she say? Yes, stock stock one? one? Lock, John? Ooh, oh. sore throat pain. Is that George Bush? Do as I say. Fall down. Try to look realistic. Very nice. Very, uh... Who stands against the forces of the power station? Restore the atmosphere and I will identify myself. Hmm. No. Look out, he's got an eggplant. Stay. Restore the atmosphere. Very well. Do you dare to test the power of my dreaded eggplant? Oh, my aching crowd scene. Did you all have to be reminded who was in control and what happens when the Dark One is disobeyed? Pork all one? one? He will be attended to, but for the moment, talk, destroy, oh fighter. Oh, what a waste of an extra. Oh, you hate to see him go like that. Take refuge in the crowd and save yourself. No, my oh, place we is better take yeah. refuge at the uh, bridge. I will be here to you. Do it. Carry now. me. Father, no, you are too walk trusting. Yourself. It is you who need protection. Danger. Now. Be 
peeking through the knot hole. Stop, and... human. You have entered the Wii Zone. A world that revolves around us and only us. All right, well, I was just going to the galley to get some food, you know, and what do you want? No one crosses the Wii Zone without doing something for us first. Okay, uh, what what do you want me to do? You must do the disappearing coin trick. Yeah, good idea. All right, I can do that for you. Remember how it goes, right? Start mm -hmm. with an ordinary quarter, right? And then I start rubbing it on my elbow like that. See that, Cambot? Okay, and... Oh, oops, I didn't get it to disappear yet. Dropped Let's it. try it again. I take the quarter and rub it, and it's gone. Hey, cool. cool. Okay, can I go now? Now you must uh, walk us on the ceiling. No growing walk character. You must walk us on the ceiling, you guys, human. You guys know uh, you're getting way too big for that. I can't walk you on the ceiling. What else you want me to do? Mm, you must create a severe weather condition inside the satellite. Yeah. Like what? You know, the Chinese snow trick. Oh, I can't do snowstorm in China. It's in the shop. I'd have to go get it. What can I do that's real quick? Uh, do can... Goofus face for us. Yeah, oh, crazy goof... duck face. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, not the eyelids! Oh, oh, I hate that. All right, can I go now? Uh, no, you must uh, do for us a handstand. Yeah. Okay, if I do a handstand, can I go then? Oh, of course. All right, sure. All right, let's try it here. All right, ready? Handstand on the count of three. Three, two, one, and up! Oh, oh. Uh, how's that, you guys? Shoes untied. Okay, and down. <gasps> Uh, nice there. All right, I'm going to go to the galley now. You guys want anything? Yes, human. Well, now that you mention it, uh, ravioli would be nice. Ravioli, yeah, and okay. uh, I'd like a club sandwich. Oh, okay. and could you pull the extra bread out of the middle? I hate that. Okay, no problem. I'll see you around. I love dinner theater. Yeah, you know it, pal. And now, old man. Who are you? I am but a simple man, Dark One. There you go. A man who is clearly no match for your powers. And yet, you breathe the poisoned air. I have no explanation. Perhaps a visit to the power station will loosen your tongue. Talk. Take him. And no dinner. Hey, she didn't say anything. Who are you to keep me from my father? Dave. His name is Neo. He comes from the wastelands beyond the city. You are immune to the poison air? He can live anywhere on New Terra. Why must we listen to a Freebot instead of the man himself? He speaks to me telepathically. Actually, it's more telepathetically. You sure that you will side with him. If he aims to defeat the Dark One, we stand with him. Hmm. And you. My father is in danger. What do you want of me? Uh, just five minutes of your time. You know, yes. uh, I know you haven't really considered aluminum siding. Not affected. My father is a scientist. He mm -hmm. has created a small device which subverts the Dark One's atmosphere control. He only had time to create one for himself and me before he was taken away. They're real expensive. Oh, she's wearing a bell tone. Ooh, cooties. These work yards used to house something called subway system. They used to be in things rooms. called cities. He set up his shop in one of these rooms. Now that the device has been perfected, he said that we could all be fitted for one within the next few days. Hmm. They would work in the wastelands as well? Shut, Shut up. up. I have been sent here by the rebel society from what you call the wastelands. We are organizing an army to destroy the Dark One and his forces at the power station. If you swear your allegiance to Neo... Hey, it's a young Robin Williams on the, the, on the right there, right there. ...and rescue your scientists. So your tribe is some kind of hybrid race? Yeah, you could say that. You could say that. <laughs> Our number grows each day. Thanks to me. Now that you know of my father's device, you need us. As much as we need you. And we vice versa. We don't need the device. You do. But an army of air slaves who are no longer really air slaves... I can't slaves believe they cut away to me again. Get How? the camera off me. I am looking for a friend. The odds aren't too good. I think he's at the power station. Together we will go there. 
and regain control of the last city and new terror. And so, the new band of rebels set out on their Who journey towards guy? the power station. They started at a landfill outside Manhattan. Wastelands. Take my hand. I'm a stranger in paradise. Yeah, I guess it's a wasteland if you don't count that big city behind you. Go to the UN building. It's filled with people behind you. Maybe they're looking for the Renaissance Festival. And over here we did Shakespeare in the Slag Heap. It was very nice. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Strange mutants live in the wastelands, posing a threat the shrubbery to is alive. They finally found the path again. If I was skeptical, I'd say that was uh, Central Park. It says, this is not a men's room. I think it says, no graphics. Look, it's the Bengals. No, it's the roadshow of cats. Yeah, they're at the Winter Garden. I'll be back again and again. Hmm? Uh, here's my mark. Here's mine. Hey, that's my mark. And I'm here. Everybody stay on camera. Don't go for your weapons. Who is this woman who walks through the she-zone with male scum? The woman is with us. I speak to the woman. I walk with these men on a mission to save my father. Another is that man Wendy or Lisa? no principles? I love my father. These men have promised to save him. No man is to be trusted. Then how can your tribe survive? We use men to breed with us to create future warrior women. Cool. Then we dispose of them. Oh. Look. He is hey, the last man who ventured into territory. He has mated with all of us who are ready to conceive, and he will now be destroyed. And he has nothing to say about this? I think he'd highly recommend it. The first thing we do when we find one of you is to remove your tongue. Men chatter so. You cowardly bitch. I would stop if I were you. Why? What difference would the life of one puny man make? Perhaps none. But there is a laser pointed at your head. Huh? Hmm? How do I know you're not lying? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? What do you want? A chance for a fair fight. A knife is placed in the ground. A voiceover is placed the in the script. Begins. They're gonna play Mumbly Pig? I'm gonna cut you, man. I'm gonna cut you real good. You know, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Yeah, like the way guys and gals get together and just love. Central Park hasn't really changed either. David Lee Roth! Emmett Kelly. Puny man, eh? <laughs> the rules of our tribe, I belong to you to do what you will with me. All right. Oh, what do you suggest? Kill me. Because if I get the chance, I will kill you. And why should I kill you? Your people are like me, aren't they? Look at that. She's what stuffing Kleenex. Look at you that. You can breathe the air. The dog what a one, time to get a cold. We don't fear him. He sends transbots to tame us, and we cut them into scrap. Your ancestors came from the wasteland. We have no history. We have always been here. So you have a history. Can exist here without the device. Only Nyla's women. We had heard stories of them. You can help lead us to the power station. I know where it is. Then you will take us to it. Maybe. If that is your desire. But once my debt to you is paid, I will kill you. If you live that long. Threats, Free threats, the mute. threats. You will come with us. Kai, what do you say to us? Maybe none. Sometimes people can be helped for no reason other than human charity. And he Men. can sign. They're all useless and crazy. <coughs> I 
think I have this calendar. Deep in the power station lies the pleasure machine. All right. Award to those who loyally serve the Dark One. What? Valeria! Dark One, I... The pleasure machine is to be used as a reward, not a habit. Yes, Dark One. It would serve you well if not... Dark One, Bug One? I... The discussion is ended. There are other matters to attend to. Pretty self-indulgent for someone with a speech impediment. Talk, and the guard bots bring you a new subject for interrogation. Yes, Dark One. Is she wearing a kitchen mat? Yeah, she better not go out in the sun in that outfit. Talk, have the man freed from his bonds. James Bond. There is no reason for him to be uncomfortable. But I kind of like the chains. You know, you look familiar. Were you in Yards of Leather? There, isn't that better? What, your accent? It will benefit all of us if you cooperate. Do you understand? No, none of us understand. Mm -hmm. We don't know Can't what you're saying. You. Mm -hmm. you are impervious to our atmosphere control. Hey, watch who you call impervious, lady. Your stay with us could be quite pleasant if you choose to work with us. You mean you'll stop talking? On the other hand, I could introduce you to worlds of pain beyond your imagination. Well, let's just skip to the worlds of pain then. The choice is yours. I have no answers for you. A pity. I am losing patience, Valeria. Tork, take him to the crystal. Tork, oh, that's what happened to Peter Tork. He's uh, doing rubber suit work now, after the monkeys broke up. It's interesting. I knew that haircut would come back. At the crystal, Jorn can see that the Dark One is aware of the rebels There's every that guy moment. again. She's your daughter, isn't she? Maybe. Let go of me, Muslim face. It would be a pity if she had to lose her life because of your silence. I have nothing to say. Uh, except for what I just said. Your daughter would want it that way. Then your daughter is a bigger fool than you are. She could just, like, clear her throat Talk, or something. Take him to the room of questions. Where is the room of questions? Would you stop that? Don't even stop it. Hey, wait for me. We will see just how long he can keep his secrets to himself. Your work is cut out for you, Valeria. Your dress yes, is cut out for you. Yes, Stock one. Stock what? Stock worm? Yes, stock one. Stock one. Stock bun, I think. Beats me. See how we've used this ground cover to halt the erosion on this hill? There. What is it? The caverns start here. Caverns? Yes, caverns, like between your ears. the power station from underground. The Dark One has ways of monitoring our progress if we continue on the surface. Come. I hate when he does that. The mutants continue to follow the rebels even as they enter the underground caverns. Huh. Hey, it's Shelley Duvall. You must be quiet from here on in. Why? Writer's strike. Sewage worms. Same thing. Sewage worms. Man eating creatures we must try to avoid. <laughs> they look They're like blind, but they seek their pink by socks listening. with teeth in them. Humans! They eat humans! How about a show of hands? This is their nest. If we can get to the other side, we'll be safe. Safe? We'll never make it through. What kind of a woman are you? Have you no fighting spirit? Enough! Let's see how many there are. He's carrying a giant beef stick. It's Kukla! How can we make it through? <laughs> if only we had some kind of bait to distract them while the rest of us slipped through. 
bait. Sock bait? You can't make me, you can't make me. Kukla, buddy! Sock broke my beef stick. Can't believe it, look at this, she broke my beef stick. Which one of them is Ginger and which is Mary Ann? There's only one way. What? We chop our way through. Yes! Ready? Smeared with rustoleum. What a time to be caught without a turtleneck. <laughs> I don't think my socks have ever gotten that bad. Ew. Egg rolls. Ew. Hey, Chipper. Oop. You owe me one, woman. So now it's two women? I pay my debts quickly. Oh, back to one woman. This whole movie is just socks and violence. Just go away. This is some good work for the out of work hand models. <laughs> hey, don't touch my hair. I work real hard on that hair. You saved me a second time. Now you can be his friend. So it's two again? I owe allegiance to no man. One. Only your help in leading us to our destination. An oasis lies ahead. There we can rest. And you can get those little I'll cow rest. cream pitchers. What I need is a tuna. Dude's totally awesome job in there. We're really coming together as a group. Look at all this water. It's sure to bust my micro circuits. Shut, Shut up. up. Hey, this doesn't look like the brochure. There was supposed to be a tennis court here. What's down in there? Bean you fish. Don't know. Yeah, it looks like a lava lamp. Oh, oh it's the dark one. On their way to us. The dog wall. The rebels, they're still alive. They must have the immunity too. Perhaps. No matter. It is best that they <laughs> still live. We better? Yes. We can use the girl's life as leverage for her death. She looks like the new Lily Munster. We have nothing to fear. They but would fear fall itself. before the might of our transports. Have you forgotten? The warrior woman has destroyed a number of our best units. <laughs> Perhaps it is time to Thank send Torque. You have made the right decision, Valeria. Then send Dolans and Nesmith, too. Has the man revealed anything to you? Just as hernia no. scar. His will is strong. What power have you used? We have taken him twice. You know he's the great and you never see his lips seven. move. Seven? He's to be reckoned with. Take him to nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Oh. Revive him. I need him awake. Revive with Vivran. <laughs> How can you breathe the poison air? Well, I ran a Mexican restaurant for a while, and then I worked in the you primate no house choice. at the zoo. Talk, you are to leave the power station and intercept the group that approaches us. And when you reach them, the first thing you are to do is kill the girl. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand, old man? Yeah, it's young girl. Your I don't understand. Your daughter will be destroyed. You will never see her again. Now, do you wish to say anything? Yeah, uh, do you know Elmer Fudd? Very well. Talk, go now. Uh, what about Barbara Walters or uh, Truman Capote, Daffy Duck? You have signed the death sentence for your own daughter. Gee, I know there's an easy mart around here somewhere. If only we could find the Wait. city. His wound is infected. What can we do? Here's someone that can help you. I don't think so. 
Presto, do something. Come on, little buddy. Use the sharp edge. Yeah. Hey, I knew bolos were popular, but... He really wears it well. Oh, damn cordless thing. This is going right back to the store. Swing easy. Keep your blades steady. Your eyes on the head. Oh, it's a spare. Got her head. Get away! Just get away! Oh man, can robots puke? Oops. High fly ball. Well, there's another one. Hey, it's a Billy Idol video. They're just dancing with themselves. Oh, mm -hmm. we gotta go. Get out of here. Let's us hurry. <laughs> oh boy, I've got a date with the McGuffey triplets. They're contortionists. The mathematic possibilities are mind boggling. <laughs> hey, Servo. What's up? Got a day with the McGuffey triplets, Crow. Well, better bring a calculator. <laughs> or an abacus. Why an abacus? One of them is Chinese. <laughs> if you're dating triplets, you're gonna have to go borrow Father O'Leary's van. Oh, but he'll never let me borrow it. Unless he thinks we're going to, to a, a church, church meeting. meeting. <laughs> Hi, guys. Up, up, and away. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Uh, really? Uh, kind of hanging out. Uh, it sounds like Cambot's uh, sitcom simulator is kind of out of whack. I better go check. <laughs> ow! Ah! 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 Ow! My knee! <laughs> oh, man. Oh. We go, we Joel, this it. is awful. We gotta shut it off somehow. <laughs> Okay, Cambot, give us a regular picture. Better. I guess we've learned not to toy with the laws of television. There you go. Not too late to save your daughter. She may be immune to the that what she said? air, but Druder? she's not immune Druder. to transports, plaster. Does she have like a big piece Jesus of hard candy in her mouth or something? As is mine. Meaning what? Did you would rather both of us die than have me give in to your demands? Do you understand what you're saying? Look, sister, I don't understand what anything you've said for the last half hour. I'm going to put you through the tortures of the damned. When I'm through with you, through? you will beg to tell me what I want to know. She's very well groomed. Nothing you can do to me will make me tell you what you want to hear. You're a strong man, I will grant you that. No one has ever endured the room of questions for as long as you have. Well, she studied under buckwheat, I guess. Oh, and what of teacher? Suppose I have Torque bring her back to the power station and put her through what you have endured? You will first have to catch her, won't you? Yes. That is true, isn't it? Now, where is that city? Uh, Queens is back there behind you there. Scarecrow? Tin Man? Lion? Hey, who's the guy in the Huggies? Near the entrance to the power station. That depends. The rebels face yet another example <laughs> no, stop of it, the come Dark on. One's cruelty. <laughs> wow, that's the uh, biggest cardboard cutout ever. Wow. Worst matte painting yet. Yes, 
Ah, uh, I've seen chickens hurt worse than that get better. Give me a slice of that. Oh, there's still a little meat on there. Yeah. In this compartment of my ring, I fill with a proton super energy pill. Thank you, Shushine. You're humble and skeletal. It was his father. Is he gonna be all right? Oh, shut up, diaper man. It's Jerry Garcia. They seem to be upset. Huh? huh? Do you suppose what? your daughter's not as strong as you think she is? Deja can take care of herself. And so can I. Oh, really? If you were a twee, what kind of twee would you be? Perhaps it is time for you to see what awaits you. Behold the dark one. It's a brand new car! I think you'll like it. It's got factory air and all the candy. <laughs> Neat, huh? And so Jorn was finally face to face with a being known as the Dark One. Bhagwan? Ravi Shankar? A being so hideously expensive we couldn't show it on this film. Look, guys, a seal tank. Hey, it says basement to the Alamo. Come on, guys. Single file. Don't push. Now, on your right, you'll see the Alamo root cellar, and on your left, the Alamo rumpus room. And uh, watch your head there. Oh, yep, there you go, Kai. Aren't you glad you used dial? Don't you wish all subterraneans did? You've got underworld wetness. Being watched. You've been watched. Of course you're being watched. It's a film, idiot. It's true. They can see all from the power station. Then we have no chance of taking them by surprise. If they know we're coming, they'd have baked a cake. It kind of looks like it was filmed in the furnace room of a junior high or something. Hello, Cleveland. Rock oh, and roll. Let's do it. I've never been to Sparta. What lies ahead is unknown to me. We are in... What? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Clayton, what were you going to say? It is called the Vault of Beasts. Why? Because the hospitality room was already taken. A series of traps to ensnare those who would try to invade his domain. What kind of traps? I don't know. My microchip board does not contain that information. Well, what good are you then? So we're walking through a live minefield. I'm afraid so. Well, we can't just stand here. Let's go. Well, you can just stand there. I mean, it's possible. We move on. What are they close. looking for anyway? Uh, clothing? Uh, Tina is looking for a support garment. Well, I hope she doesn't find one. The Nuge has a saggy diaper that In leaks. the amphitheater, the air slaves work to fuel the Dark One's power supply. Hey, Johnny, you heading over to TJ Smugglers tonight? Are we to remain slaves forever? The warrior and the others have been gone for a day. We all know that we will never see them again. They are dead. You have so we can leave? Each time we have tried to escape, the Dark One has taken away the air we breathe. How did Rosencrantz and Gilderstern get in this film? Corla, all of you listen. If we stop bringing fuel to the power station, the Dark One will have no power to control us. Are you mad? If the Dark One hears of what you say, we will all die. Corla, hear me. Listen to me, I was in Godspell once. If the warrior indeed just still live. Hey, that guy behind him's got his headphones on wrong. Them, not us. So? So, we will all go through the motions of bringing fuel to the machines. If the powers of the Dark One monitor us, they will see us working. And? And? We will bring Isn't he wearing the shirt that Brando wore in Streetcar Named us. Desire? Yep. <clears throat> Hmm. 
What do you see? A five dollar globe lamp. They are in the vault of beasts. Oh, the walls of no Greece? No, survival. it's not that. What of the air slaves? It's not easy growing the best potatoes in the world, but it's worth it. There were continues, Dark One. Good. Make sure talk attends to our visitors. As you command. You know, they got a lot of heat loss coming out of that computer. A little caulking would really... Caulking? Hello, Cleveland! Rocket bro! Let's do it! Hey, crustacean head! <gasps> huh? Hey, could you get my lighter when you're down there? Come on, you gold bricker. Get up, you're not hurt. Come on, shake it off. You wuss. All right, folks. Back it up. Give him some air, everybody. Come on, he's gonna be okay. Show's over. Everybody go home. Go home. Hey, guys, watch that first step. It's a doozy. Now that's unfortunate skin right there, guys. He's the craw daddy. Hey, he'd be great with drawn butter. Or cocktail sauce. He's a crustafarian. You know, you serve him with red, red wine. Okay, okay. Sorry. Is that her tail? No, she just played with her stick until it frayed. Her dress looks like something they cut gaskets out of. It's weird, it's powerful. No one is a match for your strength, Dark One. Dogma? There is only what? one way for him to know. Yes. Let him join with me. Uh, just wait till this jet goes over, Dark One. <clears throat> wait till this commercial goes over. Will it go over? I think it will. It'll go over great. Hello, Cleveland. Rock and roll. Let's do it, Cleveland! Huh? What? How did the creature die? We are not alone in these tunnels. Keep your weapons at the ready. You could be next. Not if we remain alert. Come. Aren't they the kids from fame? They're gonna dance forever. We're gonna learn how to cry. Just hope they don't get to a lunchroom. Oh, hiya, Krusty. Hello, ladyfish. Why would you kill one of the inferior beings instead of the girl? The path away from the body now leads them to the beast of the web. A Cylon Very wannabe. Good talk. Your programming is more. Do you think so? You I've really been working on it. No, not now. It is too late. Whatever information we need will come from the dark one. The dark board? Yes. Join with the girl's father. The others? If you have led them in the right direction, they will no longer be of concern to us. Huh? What? Hey, wouldn't it be funny if they ran into Master Carpenter Norm Abramson? Uh, what we're doing here, Bob, is uh, we got this little robot problem. They look like Hart, the rock group. Kind of. The Wilson sisters there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why was that mutant killed and why was it right in front of us? It was a warning. A warning? A sign that we should not go any further. Uh, you got a blemish there. It's a, a robo shanker. Like a a dark one. Dark one? Why? He used to play with he the Beatles. To stop us, all he would have to Robo Shanker? The mm hmm Perhaps he knows we are immune. Not all of us. The dark one Some of us are one. equity. Well, I hope not. Kai is unprotected, and so am I. Well, the rest of us are fine. And since you are just men, what difference does it make? Hey, I think somebody's you forgetting who's holding the, the pink slip, little lady. <laughs> I have ever met. Cat fight. There is no time for this. Neo! You mean duck? Help! 
Uh, don't everybody move at once. What? The beast of the web! Come, there are only moments to save her. Oh, bitsy, bitsy spider went up the water. Hello, Mara. Lancelot! Lancelot! Come back, you dunk off. Come back here. Yeah. Hey, you left your femur. Night will fall soon, Ron. I know, Corla. We must continue. But they will soon know at the power station that we have not fueled hey, our share Hey, posture, buddy, energy. posture. The warrior, Deja, and the others may still live. What good can come of that? Well, my friend has Bob Fosse's station. home number. Their might couldn't be stronger than the Dark One's. How? The Dark One draws his energy from our labors. If we provide him with no energy, they just might have a chance. A chance? Yes. They are the only hope we have. Please cross behind the actors, do you mind? Well, that settles it. Let's go to dance class. And Ramsey said to build a city. My favorite food, uh, cherry pez, no question about it. Why should we wait out the night? We should strike now. The morning will be soon enough. The power station cannot track us by night. All the more reason we should attack them now. Sleep. They don't know if we are even still alive. He's right. Then Why? we can make because some s'mores. No, because he's right. Besides, if we sleep now for a few hours, we'll be that much more alert for what lies ahead in the morning. You're hopeless. A man tells you what to do and you follow his orders without question. I'm following nobody's orders. Neo just makes the most sense. Suit yourself. If we wake up dead in the morning, you'll know who's to blame. Funny, we'll be dead. What a spaz. There's the nuge. Lock, cock, ready to rock. Dude, mm. dog scratch. No, no, no. Cats, cat scratch. I gotta go tell somebody. Cat scratch fever. This is great. What is it, little fella? Snack? Gotta go walkies? I can't believe she's sleeping with an android. Ow. His brother called me a coward. He's going on a hit. How long ago? Can you tell? No. He is headed toward the power station. Come. You must follow. Have you freed the surveillance drone? Yes, mistress. It has been caged for some time now. So it should be very hungry. Go into the tunnels and prepare. Do you think they shop the at the same place Mad Max does? I don't want it attacking the girl. She must get here alive. Yes, mistress. I love it when he calls me mistress. Hey, I had a dream about a big donut like that. You know what that means. He was hungry? Sometimes a donut is just a donut. It's the wheel of misfortune. Looks like the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland. It's Rex Smith. Boy, I hate coming to the basement alone. Not another extended basement scene. Grandma, is it by the peaches? Now, I'm kind of scared. There's nothing there in the dark that isn't there in the light. Uh, uh, I think I found Grandpa, though. Part of him. This music can't be good. Kitty! Bad kitty. How long can we continue this before we are discovered? We must keep on for as long as we can. If the Dark One has found the Voider and the others, he would have drawn from the power source in order to destroy them. Since he hasn't, each minute the others survive. 
power of the Dark One diminishes. Let us hope they continue safely on their way. And let's keep doing our stretching exercises. I just hope I find some pants. Like... Rock and roll! Let's Hello, do it! Cleveland! The film was rated B for basement. You know, that woman changes clothes more often than Mary Tyler Moore. So the Lord knows she's got more pantsuits than Angie Dickinson. Despair. I'm impressed. They shall not come any closer. Of course not, Dark One. I have sent talk to... If they do come any closer, Valeria, I will be very angry with you. Dark One, I assure you, they are all doomed. Except the girl. Of course, Master. She will be brought to you. Yes, wow, she you must have studied at the Gabor Institute of Acting me, and Attitude. And I will not forgive a mistake. You have nothing to fear, Dark One. I know, but you do. Uh-oh. Dark One is torqued. Meanwhile, back in the basement. Billy, where are you, boy? Billy? Hi! Must have been something he ate. Or something that ate him. Somebody's been watching Alien. Ooh, don't straddle that thing. The boy is dead. He feels nothing. Should we get some uh, Pepto Bismol? How about a flea collar? That felt good. Hey, you cleaned my sword. Thanks. You. Go touch the fence. I'm not gonna touch it, you touch it. Let's get Michelle to touch it, she'll touch anything. Oh, Scooby, we gotta get out of here. Let's go to your station. What did she say? Is she talking to us? Huh? What? Dartagnon? Dartmund? Dartmund? Yeah. Let this remind you of what would be your fate. She could have had a really good career in silent pictures. Lovely. Lovely. Wow, you got a cigarette there, Darky Baby? Yes, she will be mine. For oh, what awaits you will be far worse than anything you have inflicted on any of the others. Or any of the effects you've seen so what far. Do do? Power in the gate makes it impossible to pass. Well, maybe try some roughage or some brand. Wait! I know what to do. My operational mechanisms are energized by the same kind of electrical force. I can adjust my circuitry to achieve a matching level of source input, the gate's electrification will not affect me. Oh, can the balloon Don't juice spark you just do something, will ya? Great, now it's well to shut. Do it. I feel like a new free bomb. I will go over. There should be a release. 
on the other side to open the malfunction report. I am but a pre-bot. Report malfunction. Pre-bot lightning. A week before that guy was playing Hamlet. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the liberators of Earth. Pathetic. Let me. You know, fellas, it's real sad when it happens to someone you know. Yeah, but sooner or later, it's going to happen to all of us. Tell me about it. Didn't they get a wallet under his tongue or something? It's too late for that. Under rules are fun to wear. Where do you even start with something like that? First you cry. Uh, think you can do a power sit-up, little buddy? Give him air. Oh, hiya, Krabby. Hi, Lady Pig. You fool! You've let them <coughs> pass the gate. Do you know what you've done? Yeah, I let them pass the, the gate. The wall still stands between them and the power station. Activate the power in all sections of the station. What is this? We're operating at only one fourth percent of capacity. Yes, so it must yes, be the uh, meter for capacity. That one, no. We have watched the slaves work in the amphitheater. They proceed as always. Then perhaps our visitors are responsible. Is this possible? I don't. I will find out at once. Yes, do that. Talk. Go to the master monitors and report to me the level of energy storage accumulated from the slaves. Crabby do this, Crabby do that. Be careful, Valeria. The next move that you make will be the most important ones of your life. Career decision? Maybe dental hygiene. Yeah. How do you feel, Buckethead? I am once again fully functional. I am in your debt. So what's our next move? We'll never be able to get through that wall without... Explosives? That would be helpful. Allow me. Oh great, explosive throat cancer, Enough no of thanks. Enough jabbing around in there and the whole time you could have gone off at any moment. This is perfectly safe without a detonating device. How's it work? Here, look. Oh, I guess he's gonna like penny them in there. And do the shaving cream under the door gag. Take cover quick before the RA gets here. You blew it. Six, seven, eight. Your time runs short, Valeria. The guard bots will contain them. Huh? No. What? Ah. Hey, looks like the set from the Wiz. Spinach tin, you go that way. What gotcha. is to stop them now, Valeria? There are more guard bots. And if they too are vanquished? Even more guard bots. There is one final obstacle they are about to encounter. The windmill. Now. Boy, oh boy, if I weren't a light fixture, oh. It's the Wango Zitango. Maserati. Who? It's a bomb. Drink to go off with any further. Yeah, movement. it is a bomb. Let Maybe you should have made a different film. The for the rest of us. Thanks, I uh, needed that. There may be some hope for you yet. As a gorgeous lady of wrestling. All right, now what do we do? I've seen these devices before at the edge of the wasteland, leading uh, into the last city. My aunt's got one. 
Listen to me carefully, Kai. Can you hear me? <clears throat> no. -oh. But from where I stand, I can't see what you can. There should be a steel cylinder in front of you near your head. Is there? If that thing goes off, he'll be Is playing there a Vincent. Small knob at the tip of one end. No knob. Slowly. Move your hand up to the bomb without touching the wires at your side. But before you do that. Have you got it? Now reach into your left breast pocket. The knob <laughs> is a trigger mechanism. It is attached to the explosives on the inside by a very short wire. Clayton, do you have cutters in your tool panel? Well, that's a little personal, isn't it? Uh, martini's good for you guys. Everybody interested? Carefully unscrew the knob on the cylinder. When it's loose, don't pull it away. Do you understand? And don't breathe. Is it loose? I'm reaching behind you with the cutters. When I'm Take done with this, you will guard own. my harem. Understand? Don't clip your nails. Cutters near the cylinder. Slowly pull the knob away from the cylinder. Just enough to put the cutters between the knob and the head of the bomb. Cut the wire. Now. Point. Uh, I haven't cut it yet. Just kidding. Just fake you're cutting the wires. So. Valeria, pizza's here. What is it? The energy you reservoir did? from the amphitheater. That guy is needs a Kleenex energy. real bad. What? But we saw them working. What did you see, Valeria? <laughs> the air slaves, they... Air slaves. This <laughs> was a beast of burden, and they somehow got the best of you. Valeria, what am I doing? Dark One, please. Talk. Take her away from my sight. No, Dark One, please. And taking someone out of an omnipresent being's sight is pretty tough to, to do you. when you think about it. Oh, but don't. I will bring the girl to you myself, and she will tell you what you want to know. <coughs> One last chance, Valeria. And then you know the fate that awaits me. Thank you, Dark One. Diction you will not school. be sorry. Oh, pulsating glass ball with hair like Sam Donaldson. Please tell me what to do. We better get out of here. Carry me? No. no. Torque, summon the god bots. It was after the apocalypse. It was after the robots had taken over the Earth. There stood a lone, desperate survivor in a dark, dangerous time, Crow the Hunter and his animal boy, Gikor. A lonely human, dressed in the skins of those lesser on the food chain, but not by much. The boldest of them all was Servo the Bloodletter, Servo the Chirping Hellbeast, Servo the Defiler of all that is... Oh, yeah, okay. So the lonely triumvirate strode forth in a search for the mephetic terror awaiting them in the dark, evil power quadrant. Uh, hey, could we stop at a Wendy's first, guys? Uh, Geekor here wants a Frosty in a bad way. Silence, beaked fool! You dare to mock the power of the Dark One? The Black One? Black One? What? The Dark One! The Dark One! Dark one. Uh, listen, you know, Tom Sewer, I'm not getting too into this. I feel kind of like King Vitamin miscast in a Sonny and Cher video. And besides, are these real furs or what? Yeah, what are we wearing, roadkill here? I mean, hey, these, uh, th these, these furs are either cruel or unsanitary, depending on your point of view. Well, it's, it's after the apocalypse and everything, and, well, we got the furs from the dead animals littering the countryside. Ah, roadkill! See, I told you, Joe, we're wearing roadkill. Oh, that's just great. Tom Servo's <sighs> having some kind of right-wing conservative uh, fur party, and uh, okay. I think we should just leave him, Crow. Uh, let's let Mr. Narcissus alone here so he can have his own 
party of access. Let's get out of here. Yeah, see you at the seal clubbing meeting, not. He stood proudly, the bold survivor of the weak and unwilling race. You're all my friends, aren't you? Tell me your deep, dark secrets, my little furry friends. We'll rule the countryside and we'll be one together. Okay, no, I, I don't want you. The planet. I don't want you wearing this hat anymore. Hey. Hey, that guy had a tough day. He's off to Murray's for a Schmitty. You ever seen this one? I can walk the dog, too. Boy, if I could fight like those robots, boy, this is what I'd do. Get me some swords, and they wouldn't stand a chance against me. Now, how much would you pay for this robot? Wait, stop, there's more. It slices, it dices, it makes a great julienne fry. Hey, not bad for a crustacean. Sure, I got my pan flute. Maybe I should have brought an oyster knife. In the future, all robots will act like Don Knotts. Hey! Oh, no. yeah, I saw Darth Vader do that once. Uh, 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 you got it. Cat fight. Mmm, right in the throat. See, Doc Juan, I kept my promise. The girl is yours. You are as good as your word, Valeria. But your use to me has still come to an end. But Doc Juan, I delivered on my promise. Life isn't always fair, Valeria. Especially oh. when one isn't... Always get a contract when you're dealing with a dark, omnipotent power. You gotta do that. Joel, if we ever get like these bots, would you please shut us down? Yep. Just take us out. She shouldn't buy, be by that Worthington machine. You know, those things are known to uh, have a problem with their... Uh, yeah. She wasn't wearing her safety goggles. It's a problem. Should have expected it. She likes it. Don't can you hear me? Yes, what do you wish to say before you die? You really so what matter is it to me what becomes of me or all of us? She sounds kind of like an obsession commercial. Hey, don't turn that up. Power Company says 68 tops. Ah, uh, the fries are up. In five minutes, all of your domain will be destroyed. That blast to her face kind of helped her diction. Well, good, as long as we don't cease to exist. Oh, what? You will destroy me. It doesn't matter anymore. Nothing does. I don't know what's gotten into her. She just doesn't sound like the malaria I used to know. Oh, he's... Whoa! Oh, it's a huge nuge. That's for R2-D2. That's for C-3PO. That's for Julie Newmark, and that's just because I want to. What have I done? Oh, man, the huge nude. He's got cat scratch fever right on his chest. No! No! Would somebody get those fries, please? Where is my father? Which father? That could be anyone. Nearby. Take me to him. Tell me what I want to know. Okay, well, you're kind of cute, you're kind of pretty, you drive a big cartoon oh, when I hold you in my arms, I never know what to do. You and your father are immune to my powers. Why? <clears throat> I don't know. 
And you will tell me now. You know, I kind of miss Earth, you guys. I can see why. Yeah, all that equipment. Yeah, it's neat. Go ahead. Waste your stupid energies on each other. It's Eartha Kit. What will it matter? In less than a minute, the entire power station will be destroyed. What have you done? What hasn't she done? What do you think? You're finished. So is the Dark One. Talk. The deactivation lever is on the far wall. Ooh. Hey, don't touch the threads, man. It's hard on the fringe. Looks kind of like a solid gold dance routine. Forgive me. I'm here to serve you. Please believe me. That I got no problem with that. The mechanism that could have destroyed us all. But I can save us all. Our power is depleted. And it is because of the traitors in the workyards of the amphitheater. Yes. I can't even guess what we she's saying. We can force the Earth to begin refueling. Come on, Edsel Head, speak up. And regain our dominance over them. How? The girl will tell us. Never. Why should she? When she sees what's become of her father, and what will become of her. Fur? Fur? Did huh? she say fur? What will become of fur? Hey, my card opened this teller, and I don't, I don't even bank here. <laughs> Go figure. I'm all a quiver with anticipation. What the? All that remained of Jordan was his head. The rest of his body was completely engulfed by the duck. He looks like something from One Fish, Two Fish. I am the Eggman. Dad, you're a tulip bulb. Well, at least we know what McLean Stevenson's been doing since MASH. Honey, remember my torso? Well, it's Chip Dip now. Hello, Larry. Hey, you don't have to draw me a picture. Okay, my dad belongs in the salad bar. Bet the inside of his suit smells like a mushroom farm at this point. Well, the nice thing is her dad can fly as carry-on. Or carry-on. Hey, get me! I'm an appetizer! I'm giving out spores! I've been wearing this ridiculous costume for hours. I'm cramping like Kathy Rigby. Ooh! Stop playing with your oh, food. Oh, please don't jump on me right now. I'm feeling kind of vulnerable. Rusty's been watching old episodes of Manix. Run away! She's drunk with power. And she's drunk with makeup. Nah, she's just got her beer goggles on. their treachery has earned them. We no longer need them. With the knowledge of John and his daughter, we can power the station from within. The 
time has come for all of them. Oh wait, I'm on daylight savings. What am I thinking? We have an hour still. They must have unzipped that avocado suit. Stay in character, everyone. Try to stay on camera. Oh, she's stoned. Cordless tools. Come on. Guess it worked at the last minute. They always do right when you want to return them. Oh, look at me, I'm trying to have a fight and I got Peter Pan here, hopping around. Uh-oh, he's gonna use the wrapping paper tube. That's for putting lemon and drawing butter on my head. That guy's been the sand in my shell long enough. The human goes through the hole, around the tank, and, uh, hmm. There he is. Just look up. Good evening. The lights are on, but nobody's home. That's for Mrs. Paul. That's for Gordon of Gloucester. That's for Arthur Treacher. That's for H. Saul. That's for Filet of Fish. Good pose with the sword. You know, if they put him together with the avocado man, they'd make a great seafood plate. Peter, I'm as good as dead. Hey, Kay. Okay, honey. Am I a fruit Father, or a vegetable? I can't. I love you. Love me. He's Jack the Beanstalk. Oh, this is the only way out. Father, please. You know, I was going to help you take on that big uh, robotic guy, but you seem yeah, to be doing no. pretty good by yourself, so. This. Here, take my robotic truss. You know, underneath you all know, this guac is a heart of gold. Know what to do. No, Neil. We can rule terror. Get up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Take out the pit. Ooh, stir fry. This is what it sounds like when bulbs cry. Thank you, Neil, for killing my dad. Oh, it's amazing what you can do just by turning on an egg timer. Kind of reminds me of an acting class I used to have. Dark Room's dead, Avocado Man is dead. This looks like the locker room for American Gladiators. Smells like it. Mm-hmm. Looks like the closing night cast party of That's Dancing. You're really well groomed for being at the end of the world. Deja, John would have wanted it this way. He wanted to be laid to rest on a hill and no. not scooped out for a light lunch, Neil. What will you do now? Go back to my people, finish my father's work. Try to find a better leave script? No, leave me alone. Maybe learn how to act? Your father was a great man. And an even Perhaps better side lived, dish. You could have well, told better dead yourself. than a spread. What a dip. <laughs> my dad's his own favorite dish. 
and she's my favorite dish. Hey. Brother, you could still get a job at Chi Chi's. You could be the job. With the Dark One destroyed. Oh, oh the, the Dark, dark One! Blast. Neo returned to his people to bring them to the last city. Together, they would rebuild New Terra. So it'd be newer Terra then. Newest Terra. If not, they might get their waiter jobs back or do odd jobs for their cousin's house painting company until they got enough investors for their sequel. Yeah. Oh man, let's pray it's not a buddy picture. He's a robot. He's a human. They're detectives. <laughs> not half bad. Well, it's all you, bad. What'd you think of the movie, you guys? Um, do you really want to know? Yeah. I think it gave robots a bad name. I really got upset by that metallic panty waist uh, robot. It really got under my skin. Yeah. I liked seeing uh, Nugent, uh, you know, spread his wings and try some new things. Yeah, that was neat. It's nice to see he's working. And... Did you know he's George Clinton's neighbor? Who's George Clinton? Oh, he's this guy on Earth, uh, Funkadelic. He invented Funkadelic. So it's a rockin' neighborhood. Brides of Frankenstein. Uh -huh. Yes, they have a block party. Sure. It's Woo! a rockin' block party. The anyway. police have been called. Yes. I don't know. <clears throat> One thing we gotta do is get a contest to name that avocado guy. Oh, yeah. good idea. Have him, uh... The color thing was nice. The color thing? Well, the fact that this movie was in color. Oh, yeah. I mean, instead of looking at a black, we're looking at kind of a burgundy. It's much better. Yeah, I like it a lot. You want to get going? Yeah, let's... Uh... No, I want to see the key grip. Oh, Let's go but, watch oh, some Oh, look at this. Special visual effects created by Jeremy Frank and Bizarchitecture. Look, Mr. French. I didn't know his first name was Ed. James Chow, Chairman Mao's He's the anagram. main Chow. Hey, Joel, you ever look at the floor in here? Yuck. It's really a mess now that you think about it. We should have Cambot. I, actually, I should get back to fixing Cambot. Let's go. All right. Carry me. Up. No. Oh, come on. No, I'm not going to. OK, I'll come back for you. Your hands are like here. the dark ones, Joel. All right. Come on, carry me, carry me. Come on, let's go. Come on, strap your legs around. Okay, let's go. Hey, Joel, you gotta come lift me over this heating grid. Okay, you guys, it's finally the end of the experiment, and um, let's have another look at that uh, plant guy again. Cambot, you want to fish out that frame 5236? There he is up there, guys. Whoa, you know, even though he looks scary, Joel, I still get a little hungry just looking at him. So uh, we've decided this uh, guy is too good to keep to ourselves, so we're going to sponsor a Name the Plant Guy brainstorm. Right, it's a brainstorm, everybody, so join in. Send in your name for the plant guy. And the top 13 will be read on Mystery Science Theater on the Satellite of Love. Send your Plant Guy Brainstorm entries to Mystery Science Theater 3000 Fan Club, P.O. Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota, 55343. Uh, we've come up with a few starters of our own to help you uh, name the Plant Guy. Uh, number one, Guacamole Wilson. 
I've got number two. Mine is limbless mucus encrusted avocado man. And number three, Carl. So, well, that finishes up this week's experiment. What do you think? What, what about, about the letter? letter? Oh, 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 yeah. Got it right here. This is from a father son team. First is from Donnie. He writes, he's the dad. My son and myself would like to join the MST 3K fan club. That scares the hell out of me because he's only seven and I'm 36. And then later on, we've got some from Bill, the son, who says, hello, Joel. I'd like to tell Crow that he's funny. Hey. And that I like the part when he said he's out of bang, bang. I don't really remember that. Uh, Maybe you should get off the sugar cereals. Yeah. And Joel, I'd like to tell you that when all said nice tag and Tommy is bubblegum head without a slot. P.S. Nice all of the tag thing again for him on three. Yeah. One, two, three. Nice, nice tag. tag. P.S. All of you are funny. Thank you, Bill and Donnie. Bastard. Thank you, Bill and Donnie. Thanks. How's that, sirs? Good job, Mr. Memory. I think you should file this, Larry. Until next time, Skippy Drawers. Oh.